welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here. I'm Nero. Battle Ready Decks, Bombs Away, fourth installment in the Battle Ready Deck series. Full disclosure, I am not paid by, I receive no compensation from, I'm in not, I am not endorsed by 1939 games in any way, my opinions and thoughts are my own. <clears throat> Let's get into the deck. This is a British USA ramp deck. You'll notice on the credit curve, very low on one drops, kind of hitting high on three, five, seven. Right, so there's your cadence, three, five, seven. Your two drop slot, you really want to be ramping to get ahead on resources or credits to play bigger threats that come in over the top. We'll look at the cards individually. One production order. With production order, you can choose B24D, which costs uh, three less to play if you have a unit in play that has operation cost three or more. So you can play it for a four and go ahead and attack what you need to attack. B24J suppresses all enemy units. Supply priorities is, I think, the only card in here that acts as removal. We'll get into that more in a minute. Close call is a countermeasure that <clears throat> uh, counters an order on deployment effect that targets a friendly unit. Stiff upper lip. Card draw, there's a lot of guards in the deck, so stiff upper lip for two credits. Most of the time is drawing two cards. Three copies of M3A3 Honey. Every time you draw a card, you gain one defense. Three copies of War Machine gains one extra credit slot. M10A1, it's a tank that suppresses an enemy unit. Four copies of East Surrey Regiment. Three copies of Convoy, so that's what, five? Uh, five card draws. Convoy will draw two cards, two copies of fortification to keep your health, your head, uh, headquarter life total up. Sincerely yours, it is a staple in most British decks. If you, if you were running Britain as a main nation, sincerely yours is typically an auto include. So it's a great elite for the deck. Four copies of the Glamour Boys, um, at times, people will indicate that maybe it's taken over the meta. Wouldn't go that far, but four copies of Glamour Boys gaining four life. It's a guard unit with three six. Definitely buys you time to do the things that you want to do, which is to, to deploy heavier bomb, bomber use, units to close out the game. Two copies of War Bonds gaining two credits and drawing an extra card. Another guard in Black Watch. One copy of Lancaster and Elite. Uh, when the unit damages the headquarter, cards in the enemy hand cost one extra credit or one credit. ASW Patrol, it's removal. So that would be the other removal that's in the deck. You really kind of want to isolate it. So if you can get the board down to where there's only one unit in play, ASW Patrol will take that out. Two copies of Halifax, two of the bomber units. B-17 Flying Fortress, another bomber. Two copies of Lancaster, another bomber. So with production order, you got a number of bombers in the deck. Game plan with the deck overall is to stay alive, keep your HQ life up, ramp into your and play guards into your uh, onto the board to prevent losing the game to aggressive decks. But you're always working towards getting your bigger threats in play. So get ahead on resources, play your guards, stay alive, drop the bombers, and go. What I would say is. A nice upgrade to the deck would be any type of area effect removal spell. So cards like Monsoon Rot, Supply Shortage, Supply Priorities would make the deck even stronger. So there's plenty of room for you to add copies of those to make the deck even stronger. And those are standard limited cards, so they're easily craftable. But as, as is, you're ramping, relying on guard units, playing your bombers late, closing the game out. We'll get into some gameplay footage. Thank you for being here. Stay safe. Be well.